In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to replace a DMP4060, a DMP8060, or a DMP8065. All of them are replaced with pretty much the same technique, even though they may look slightly different. This particular player that I'm replacing is a DMP4060. Now you can see I've already started by removing the modules directly in front of it, both above and below, just for easier access. The next step is that you'll want to disconnect the cables from the bottom of the player. Be very careful when disconnecting the fiber that it doesn't get damaged. It's also a good idea to label the cables so that you know where they plug back in once you're complete. But you can't always refer to the label on the front of it if you need. Now that I've got my cables disconnected, I'm going to use a 5 16 nut driver to loosen up the nuts on both sides. Now that I've loosened the four mounting nuts, my player is ready to remove from the display. Just simply lift it up and then carefully bring it out of the display. Be very careful not to damage any of the cables as you're pulling it out of the display or putting it back in. To put it back in the display or to replace the player, just simply follow those directions in reverse. Go ahead and insert the replacement player back in the display. and hook it onto your mounting location. Once it's on your mounting locations, use your nut driver to tighten up the four mounting nuts. Now that I have my four mounting nuts secure, I can proceed with attaching the cables. It's important to note if you have replaced it, you're probably going to need to change the IP information with, on the player so that it's now compatible again with the customer's network. In other videos, we'll demonstrate how to do that. At this point, I can go ahead and reinsert my modules and my service work is done.